Hello artists, welcome back to Art at Home. I had an idea for a new series of videos I'd like to start making. I thought it would be really fun to take some of our favorite picture books and examine how the artists drew them. So today we are going to start with The Pigeon. I know this is a favorite at Pine Hill and it's a favorite in my house too. So today we're gonna look at how Mo Willems draws The Pigeon. The best way to learn how to draw something is to draw it. So I'm actually going to take my iPad and I'm gonna snap a photo of the pigeon. I can set that aside. And I'm going to try to trace over Mo Willem's drawing and figure out his steps when he draws the pigeon. I think I'll draw in purple today, so it stands out. Oh, it's nice and thick. So as I look at this drawing, right away something strikes me. I'm noticing really basic shapes in Mo Willem's drawing. The pigeon's head is a circle, his eye is a circle with a circle dot in it. His beak is like two semicircles that get cut off at his head. The top one is bigger than the smaller one. His body is also very much like a semicircle. His wings, usually, I picked a funny picture here, usually they're triangles like this that just stick out. In fact, I think I'm gonna go with that to keep it simple today for our first drawing. And his neck is basically like a long rectangle that connects the semicircle body to the circle head. And then he also includes this rectangle for that little spot on his neck. I always think of it as a collar, but I'm not sure. So he starts with basic shapes. He also does those little twiggy legs that are really just lines. So one long line and then three little lines coming out of it for his toes. So he's got those twiggy legs. Almost like stick figure style. If you guys are used to drawing stick figure people. And that's it, the pigeon's pretty simple. I'm gonna get a piece of paper and use what I learned here to try and try and draw the pigeon. Oh, you know what? One other thing about the pigeon. Let's look back at this. It looks to me like Mo Willems maybe uses like a crayon to draw that edge. Something that has like a rougher line like that. So maybe when I draw the pigeon, I'll use a crayon. All right, let's give it a shot. <clears throat> All right, artists. So I'm gonna start my own drawing of The Pigeon by Mo Willems. And I'm gonna remember what we just learned, that he uses basic shapes. He has twiggy legs, like stick figure legs, and the edges of the turtle, ah, the turtle, the pigeon, are drawn what, with what appears to be crayon. So I'm gonna try that. So I got a pencil, I've got a crayon, and I grabbed a blue marker to color him in afterwards. All right, let's give it a shot. I'm going to start with his body, which we saw was the semicircle shape. So I'm just sketching lightly. I'll neaten this up with my crayon afterwards. We saw he has a circle head. I might change my drawing from this one a little bit. I'm gonna put his head a little bit this way. I'll do my best to draw a circle. You can always find something circular at home and trace it. His eye is a big circle. 
His beak was like two semicircles. I'm gonna have him going this way. And the semicircles stop, like it could keep going like this and be a full semicircle, but I stop it at the edge of his head. And I'm gonna have him talking. I'm gonna have one of those excited pigeon pictures where his mouth is open and his eye is wide. Maybe he'll be looking right at us with another circle for his eye in the middle. I connect his body to his head with a rectangle, like that, and he has that rectangular collar thing in his neck, closer to his head than his body, I'm noticing, it's up higher. I'm going to, instead of having his wings, those triangle wings, I'm going to have them pointing up because he's excited in this one. Those wings are just like triangles. I'm guessing he may have just seen a hot dog in this picture. I'm not sure. And maybe since he's going kind of wild here, I'm going to have those twiggy legs sticking out like this. So remember, they're just one line and then three lines for his toes. All right, there's my sketch for the pigeon. Now I'm gonna use my crayon because it really looked like Mo Willems used a crayon to draw the edges of his pigeon. And this is just like tracing, like we've done a lot of in art class, we use Sharpie markers a lot, but Mo made a choice to use a crayon or something like a crayon to get this kind of edge, which is a really cool choice. Now I have the bottom of my rectangle here, but I'm noticing how Mo draws him. He doesn't have a line here at the bottom of the neck, so I'm gonna leave that out. I'm just go right around that semicircle body. Those triangle wings. And those stick figure feet. And I actually just noticed something interesting in this drawing. There's not a lot of shadows in these books, but Mo seems to put a little bit of shadow underneath the wings. Let me see if that's true in a lot of pages. A little bit for that back wing, he'll throw a little bit of shadow back there. So I'm gonna put a little shadow on my wing. Always trying to notice new things when you're studying like an artist. Cool. Oh, I need to trace his collar thing. And there's Mo Willem's pigeon drawn by me. I'm just going to color it in now. So notice when I color, I'm very often moving the drawing so that I can keep my lines going in the same direction, particularly on a circle like this. I also never want to be like uncomfortable when I'm drawing. I want to have my drawing in a position that I am most comfortable, so I will just spin it around when I need to. I think I picked a pretty good color for the pigeon. Very often hold my drawings at angles like this when I'm coloring. Notice too, when I'm especially, well, using any material, but when I use marker, I really try to keep my lines going in the same direction because you see these little overlapping lines and it looks much neater if you keep them all going in the same direction rather than scribble them in and that way you can kind of really notice when you leave white spots and go back and fill them in I'll speed up the video and finish coloring
Mo Willems very often uses really dull colors for his background, so I'm going to go ahead and give that a try too. And of course the pigeon is saying hot dog party really loud by the looks of it. So I'm going to trace his word balloon and go ahead and shade the background. I'm going to do the same thing like I did with the marker and try and color in the same direction. And if I need to change how I'm holding the paper, I'll go ahead and do that. Speed that up. fun drawing your pigeon. I had a blast drawing mine. I wonder what yours are doing. Go ahead and upload them on the website if you want to, and we'll put them in the gallery. Check them out together. All right, see you later, artists.